everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany Beeson from Beauty and the Beesons. And if you like this video, make sure you subscribe and let me know if you wanna see more videos like this. So in today's video, I am making five of my super simple, insanely easy, minimal ingredient and healthy meals. Um, in addition to those five meals, I'm also gonna be showing you three of my dump and go meals. You can just throw them into freezer bags, put them in a fridge, or freezer and thaw them out when you're ready to use them. And when you're ready to use them, you just throw them into your crock pot. So again, super easy and delicious meals. So I'm starting off with my taco casserole. This dish is so delicious. It has a little bit of a kick to it. So if you don't like spicy, just omit the jalapenos and it'll be perfect for your liking. Okay, so I'm just starting off by throwing three chicken breasts in my crock pot with about a cup and a half of chicken broth. You can use however much chicken broth you want because you can always drain it. But pretty much this is the perfect way to get shredded chicken for any recipe you want. And it's so simple and easy. And now I'm just going to chop up one yellow onion. I'm using pickled jalapenos just because I feel like it's a little less spicy and they're easy to work with. Um, if you want a little bit spicier or a little more crunch, use a fresh jalapeno. And like I said, if you don't love spicy, just completely omit this step. To keep this recipe low carb, I am using this cauliflower rice. Um, so I'm just going to throw that in the microwave and then I'm using a small thing of sour cream. And then I'm adding one cup of salsa and then one packet of taco seasoning. I'm just going to mix all of that together with my cauliflower rice. Finally, I just sprayed a baking dish and I'm going to add my chicken and then add that rice mixture, stir it all up, and then I'm going to top it with some cheese and bake it on 350 for about 25 to 30 minutes. This recipe is so delicious, so easy, and super low in carbs. Next up we have a turkey and green bean casserole. The original dish is made with beef, but we just don't eat a lot of red meat in this house. It bothers my stomach and I really like turkey over beef, so that is why if you like beef, use beef in this recipe, but I'm using some lean turkey. This dish is just like a comfort food and just really yummy and just wholesome. Okay, so for this recipe, I'm just going to brown one pound of ground turkey. Again, you can use beef if you prefer that. And then I'm using three ounces of cream cheese, some garlic, salt, and pepper to taste. You will also need some green beans. So once my turkey is cooked, I'm just adding the cream cheese and stirring it around. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my half cup of beef broth. You can use chicken broth or vegetable broth, whatever you like, but I wanted to still use the beef broth even though I wasn't using actual beef. Next, I'm going to add some heavy whipping cream, just a half cup. Thank you. 
I just used a um, steamable bag of green beans. If you don't have that on hand, you can use two cans of green beans instead. Mixing that all together, and then I'm gonna be adding um, some mozzarella and some cheddar cheese. And I'm doing about 3 4th cup of each. And then I'm gonna take this entire thing and stick it in the oven on 350 for, again, about 25 minutes. So easy and a one dish meal, so a lot less cleanup. I also wanted to mention to add your green beans once your um, like cream cheese and all of that looks like it has thickened up enough in your sauce. This next dish is one of my favorites when I want like a nice light dinner. Um, I make it throughout the season, but it's especially nice like in the spring and summer when the weather is a little bit warmer. And these are my chicken teriyaki lettuce wraps. Super easy. You just throw everything into the crock pot and voila. Okay, so for this recipe, you're going to need one fourth cup of gluten-free soy sauce or whatever soy sauce you like. It doesn't have to be gluten-free. Um, we're also going to use two tablespoons of tomato paste, two tablespoons of honey, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder, and then of course some salt and pepper, and then this is an 8 ounce can of crushed pineapple. So all you do is literally add all of that to your crock pot, um, and then let it cook however your crock pot is. So I always say um, four hours on high or eight hours on low, but my crock pot cooks really fast. So I usually don't do um, the full like eight hours ever. After the time is up, it just shreds so easily and I'm just taking the lettuce out to do my lettuce wraps. This is iceberg lettuce and this is a trick that Rachel Ray taught me. You literally just smack it down onto a hard surface and then you can pull the core of the lettuce out and have perfect big pieces of lettuce. Um, I do this all the time, even if I'm just like using lettuce for salads, I like to take the core out that way. For our next recipe, I don't know about you guys, but we have been getting colds all summer. I have no idea what's going on, but we have been getting sick, so I had to do a chicken and rice soup. I make this all year round, and the way that I make this a little bit easier since half the time I'm sick with my kids, making this meal is I use rotisserie chicken just to make it that much faster, and this is delicious. You guys are going to love this. I often tell you guys, don't be afraid to cook, like don't try to be exact, do things to your taste and that's kind of how I made up this soup recipe. Um, I'm using one yellow onion for this and then a few stalks of celery. Like I said, use it to taste however much celery you like and however many carrots you like. I will say that I got these carrots, they were not like in a bag or anything, they were just freestanding carrots if you will and they really tasted so delicious compared to the carrots that you would buy from a bag. So if you have that option, I definitely recommend doing that. So go ahead and melt your butter. I did about two tablespoons of butter and this really, I feel like, just like amplifies the recipe, like that butter and onion taste is just delicious. It's a nice base for your soup. So I'm just adding the onions to that, and then I'm going to go ahead and add some salt and pepper. You'll see me adding salt and pepper throughout the dish because I do think it's important to layer the salt and pepper through each thing that you're making to kind of get like a really good flavor. So the house smells amazing. We have our diced onions and our butter. And now I'm gonna go ahead and cut everything else up while that browns. You'll also notice from the previous clip that I did add some um, 
fresh garlic. I just used my garlic press and I did about three to four cloves. I can't remember exactly, but I based it off of the size of them, but I think that you definitely need onion and garlic for a good soup mixture. Now um, I'm just going to cut up the chicken from the rotisserie chicken and then add all of that in and then I'm going to use um, two boxes of chicken broth and if you are using low sodium like I am just make sure you're still using like enough salt uh, because sometimes if you don't realize you're using low sodium your soup has pretty much like no taste at all. Now I'm going to throw in some thyme, some garlic powder, and some onion powder. Once everything starts to boil nicely, I'm going to go ahead and add in my brown rice. Um, you can use whatever kind of rice you like, or even if you want to add noodles to this, that's fine. But I wound up doing about a cup and a half of brown rice. Just let that simmer for however long you want, um, kind of let the flavors all go together and then add some frozen peas at the end. It is really, really easy and delicious and from scratch pretty much. <laughs> um, and it just makes the whole house smell good and it really helps those little sore throats. And then the last meal before I show you my three dump and go freezer meals is the infamous Lazy Mom Shepherd's Pie. You guys love this recipe across the board. It's insanely easy, it's healthy. I get messages about it all the time on Instagram, so now here you have it in this video, so you can always refer to this video. It's so simple. So for this recipe, of course, we have my garlic, salt, and pepper. I told you I always season my meat with that. Um, so we have a package of ground turkey, sweet corn, and you can use mashed cauliflower rice, or you can use the Bob Evans mashed potatoes, or make your own mashed potatoes. I'm using Bob Evans mashed potatoes tonight for this recipe. And I just wanted to show you Ella, because people often ask me like where my kids are in my videos. They're here. They're with me. Don't you worry. <laughs> so. All I'm doing is browning the turkey again with salt, pepper, and garlic. I'm going to strain that and then add it to a baking dish. Next, I'm just adding my mashed potatoes, and like I said, you can use um, cauliflower mash if you'd like as well, or make your own mashed potatoes, but 
I like to do turkey on the bottom and mashed potatoes as the middle layer. Now we're going to use a can of corn on top. If you have um, frozen corn, just cook it ahead of time and use that um, cooked corn on it. And then you can top it with any cheese you like. A lot of times I do Mexican cheese, but today I'm doing some cheddar cheese. And then we're just gonna bake that on 350, um, depending on your oven and depending on if you cooked this from warm or cold, because you can make this ahead of time and store it in your fridge. I've done that plenty of times, um, cooked it during nap time and then put it in the fridge. Um, but 350 for about 20 to 25 minutes covered and then I take the cover off and I broil it for a second just to get the top nice and crispy and this is amazing and I haven't met anybody who hasn't liked this dish yet. And then finally, for my dump and go freezer meals, I talked about how you could just throw these in the freezer if you wanna save them for later in the week. This is great for when you get like a large package of chicken, which is what I did. I got like the pack from Costco, um, but you'll see. And I also have these really handy dandy bag holders. I showed them in my kitchen gadget video. However, I'll have it linked below because they are super helpful. So the first freezer bag meal is a like salsa fajita chicken. These are delicious. You can eat them on top of chips dip your chips in them, uh, put them in a tortilla, however you wanna do it. I love doing this because, come on, we got three meals in like five minutes. So for the first meal, I am doing a jar of salsa, and then I'm gonna do a can of rinsed black beans, and then a can of corn, and then I'm gonna do one packet of fajita seasoning, and that's it. <laughs> and how awesome are these bag holders? They seriously just make my heart happy, and I love them. <laughs> And then we have our honey garlic chicken. This is one of my favorite recipes. The only thing that I can say for this, because I've done it in the past, is watch your crock pot because crock pot times and temperatures are so different from one to the next. So if you know your crock pot and your crock pot gets really hot, just keep checking on this because when you have honey in your crock pot, it can burn very easily. So just make sure you keep an eye on this recipe. And this is the honey garlic chicken. It's amazing. So for this recipe, you're gonna need one third cup of honey, a tablespoon of fresh minced garlic, a half a cup of soy sauce, again, I'm using the La Choy, one fourth cup of ketchup, and then you can also use oregano if you'd like. However, I, oregano is just one of those spices like I despise, so I omit that. Step. Also for all of these recipes, I'm using chicken thighs. Okay, and last but not least, one of the easiest ones ever is just straight up chicken and your favorite type of sauce. Um, if you want, you can also add like diced tomatoes to this or whatever else you're feeling, but I just throw this in the crock pot and have this shredded chicken over top of pasta. I've been loving black bean pasta lately. Top it off with some mozzarella or Parmesan cheese and voila, it's delicious and it's just like so easy. Wish you would have thought of it earlier.
So I hope that you all enjoy this video and that it gave you some inspiration for your meals for this upcoming week or for this week. If you do try any of these recipes, please tag me on Instagram at t.beaston. I love resharing them on my stories and just it motivates me to keep making videos like this and I really appreciate it. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and let me know if you want to see more videos like this. Whenever your heart is broken